Hey again, guys. Do you know what I like to do on a Saturday night before I partake in happy hour? I like to look at some baseball cards. Okay, I got a cool item in I want to show you. It has a little extra significance for me, uh, mainly because of the player and the year. But I wanted to tell a little story. Uh, when I was a little kid, shopping at my local mall, Walden Bookstore, I stumbled on this book. And man, I could not believe they made a book for baseball cards. I was so excited I had to have this thing. And I think the, the uh, 1975 are the last cards featured in here. So that's when this book was made. And I read it cover to cover. I looked at these images over and over again all the baseball cards you know obviously uh, most of which I hadn't seen at that point in my life and I set out to uh, get all these cards and I got all the ones on the front all the ones on the back and I think I have most of the ones inside uh, except for the T206 Hannes Wagner but in this book they interview Cy Bar Berger now Cy Berger was the one that uh, you know, launch the, the, the tops baseball cards. And he would go to spring training camps and he would talk to the managers and ask about which young players were gonna make the team. And uh, when a manager said they were likely to make the team, he would make a baseball card for them. And so he was at uh, Detroit's uh, spring training and he was asking about uh, Mari Wells. And the manager said he wasn't going to make it. He wasn't going to make the team. And so Cy never signed him. And Mari Wills held a grudge and would not sign with Tops until 1967. Now he had a, uh, a post serial card and he had a Fleer card in 63. And he had two, I believe, two Bell brand cards. This is my favorite. In fact, this is my favorite Mario Wills card ever. But he didn't sign with Topps until 1967 when he was with my Pittsburgh Pirates. And at one time, this was one of the hottest cards in the hobby. This was a, a hot card when I was growing up. It's a beautiful card. Mario Wills, when he was with the Pirates. And I got a hold of this. Sports Illustrated from 1967, showing the speedy Mari Wills, who of course is best known for setting the steals record at 104 for a single season until Lou Brock broke it with 118. And of course, we all know uh, Ricky Henderson holds that record today. But a really cool Sports Illustrated from 1967 featuring Mari Wills and I love stuff like this and on my last video I uh, talked about Rocky Blyer showed some cards and uh, I had pulled one out that I forgot to show so I'll show it now and that's the 1978 so that's what I have for you I'm gonna go hit happy hour before my wife stops talking to me Thanks for watching.